Hello ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and thanks a lot for tuning in to the Diaspora Lifestyle Show with Jermaine Sonwolu and I thank, thank you so much for actually being part of this show where I will bring you what is entertaining, empowering and enlightening. Um, today we're going to be talking about something that is a bit sad but we have to look at it critically. Um, there was a recent suicide bombing um, in Somalia, in Mogadishu, and um, I really felt we should just talk about it and bring um, to your attention what's actually going on in that nation. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed in all black um, just to mourn with the people of Somalia because um, over 30 lives, um, 30 people, 30 um, um, people that had mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, 30 households, you know, um, people with lives were snuffed out of our world um, just over the weekend because of the attacks that happened, suicide bombing, that um, Al-Shabaab, the terrorist organization, actually claimed responsibility for. It was a heinous, a very, very terrible um, incident and I really uh, mourn with the people and the families of um, those that are affected in Somalia. Um, I would like you to watch these little videos that um, I got from YouTube, um, um, a TV station produced this and you can actually um, see what actually happened. It was really, really sad and I do hope that you're able to empathize with the people of Somalia and we'll get back and talk about the implications, why it actually happened and the way forward for Somalia. Thanks a lot for watching the Diaspora Lifestyle Show. Um, watch this video um, in a minute. I'm <laughs> Yes, as you can see, um, there was really a devastating toll that actually um, went on in um, Somalia. Many lives were actually lost and it is so, so sad um, what is actually going on in that nation. Somalia has been plagued with a lot of um, problems over the past few years and it's quite unfortunate um, from piracy to um, militancy to radical Islamist um, practices that are going on and it's quite unfortunate that again 30 people's lives were actually lost in fact 30 counting in Mogadishu now the Al Shabaab actually took responsibility for it and um, why did they do it they said they wanted to attack um, the officials security officials that were actually being trained or prepared for the elections now the elections of somalia are going to be taking place on the 28th of december 2016 and this is very critical for the success and the transition of somalia into a peaceful um, um, um regime of peaceful um, nation but the al Shabaab movement actually doesn't want to see any of that they want to intervene in the elections it has been postponed to the december 28th from november and we see that they just want to um, let fear permeate in the hearts of the people of somalia so they won't go out and vote they they still want to control people psychologically through their terroristic um, activities and this is really sad so are people actually going to go out when they see that a gathering of people in the port city of Mogadishu um, by the seaport was attacked so this will scare people from going out to vote because they may feel that there may be also um, some attacks that may take place on election day so it's quite sad and a little brief history about um, 
Al Shabab. They, 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 they're a funny organization. You won't believe that the name of Al Shabab actually means the youth. And this is quite funny because um, they are saying that they are the youth and they actually want to um, overrule. They want to take over. They want to take charge of the country called Somalia. Now, they came out as a big force from the um, Union of Islamic Courts, which was ruling Mogadishu in, the two, in 2006. And they came out and said, we want to take over. We are the youths now. And they have to, um, and, and they want Sharia law to actually rule and reign in um, Somalia. And this Al-Shabaab, they've been terrorizing the whole East African region from Kenya um, and, and Tanzania. It's really, really sad what they've been doing. And we have to ensure that as a people, we come together and say no um, to this Al-Shabaab movement, no to their terroristic activities. And we say yes to peace. We say yes to a progressive Somalia whereby things are moving forward. Somalia is a very, very rich nation. They have a potential to do a lot of things. Their waters alone are good for fishery. And also, they, they represent a very, very important and trade international trade um sea route you know and a lot of things that go through the horn of africa come to somalia and it's important that that region is kept safe and if it's not kept safe there's problem in not only in Af not only in somalia but in africa so we need to ensure that we do whatever to put out our voice to actually support the somali people and actually mourn with them in this time of loss it's not an easy thing it's not an easy thing to lose a family member a brother or sister just imagine if you were you, it, it was your family i remember when there was a lot of boko haram attacks in nigeria a lot of families were affected by the activities and i cannot imagine our brothers in somalia um going through that so i mourn with you and i uh, give my deep condolences so that's what's happening in the world uh my name is jermaine Sonwulu, CEO of diaspora pr i just thought i did um this simple video and update you on what's going on so make sure you visit diasporalifestyle.com. Then you get up to date about what's happening and visit Diaspora Lifestyle Show, whereby you can see some interviews that we've had with some celebrities, with some notable politicians and personalities. And if you want to get interviewed and show yourself to the world, make sure you come on the Diaspora Lifestyle Show and we shall give you the publicity that your brand so deserves. And I want you to also get a copy of the Diaspora Lifestyle magazine. Um, it's available for you to read online. It's a very, very good magazine and it's filled with so much information quite colorful a lot of information so make sure you get your copy too thanks a lot for watching i appreciate your time before i sign up remember um the um our new venture the diaspora properties.com whereby we ensure that people in nigeria people who want to invest in africa's largest economy um that is full of so much potential that real estate values um are appreciate astronomically but because of the recession right now people are selling their properties off to so an opportunity for you to actually seize your property seize an opportunity to invest in real estate in nigeria your pound and your dollar will go further and um i just have this company now that has poor properties i studied estate management university of lagos and i thought it's time for you to, for me to come out and support fellow diasporans add value to them by ensuring that you have a, a trusted face to engage in your real estate transactions when you want to own a home um, back home in Nigeria or you're an investor who wants to invest in a rapidly growing um, Nigerian economy um, that has a lot of potential so thanks a lot for watching I appreciate you I am in Jermaine Song the CEO of Diaspora PR publisher and photographer Diaspora Lifestyle um, magazine thanks a lot for watching and do watch this video as we sign out. Are you looking for trusted real estate services? Do you want to buy, sell, rent, invest, and develop your properties in Nigeria or the UK? Don't worry, we'll make your dreams come true. Introducing Diaspora Properties a trusted, fast-growing international real estate consultancy company. We have the best solutions for investors, property owners, tenants, and developers. Now you can buy, sell, rent, and invest with peace of mind. Own your dream home. Invest in properties. Develop real estate. 
Expand your territory at diasporaproperties.com. Contact us today.